welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. I am doing a all my pets video, you guys. I used to do a ton of these back, way back when I started my channel, and I actually love doing these because I get to show you guys all my animals literally in one video. And yes, literally we have about 40 something animals. You have to keep track as we go along through this video and let me know in the comments down below how many animals we actually have. I will definitely be putting a helpful hint in my description, so make sure you look if you don't want to completely follow along and count and just enjoy the video. I want to keep this intro short, but the reason I'm doing this video is because in the last couple of months, we've had a lot of new subscribers to my channel. So if you guys are new, I wanted to take this opportunity to just show you all my animals, let you meet them, tell you their names, and give you some info about them. And especially because we are about a day or two away from hitting 300,000 subscribers. So I am so grateful for you all and super excited. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get in today's video. If you guys are excited for today's video, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, you have a chance my post notification shout out. Also, you guys, don't forget to get your Stets Farm Fan merch or your Triggered merch or any other merch that I have on my merch website. It's in the description down below or even just right above the comment section. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this All My Pets video. So the first animals we're gonna start with are the dogs because I've had them the longest. The dog was my first animal really to start the farm. But we're going to be talking about our latest dog and this is Scout because she's the newest animal that we've actually added to our farm. Scout is a chocolate lab. She's about four to five months now and she's a little girl. I know a lot of people think she's a boy because of her name, but nope, she's a little girl and she's a chocolate lab. Right up here next to me is my right hand man, literally. He's our only boy dog and he's such a mama's boy. We actually um, fostered him with two other black puppies back in 2020 and I just absolutely fell in love with him. It's really easy to fall in love with him <laughs> and he is obsessed with me just like I'm obsessed with him. So he's two years old this year and he's a black lab. Um, he is a mix though. We did like a DNA test and he should be like um, American Stafford. So he's a little mixed, but he's a big mama's boy and he's always around and he absolutely loves his armpits getting scratched. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> Moving on to Lexi. So this is Lexi. I can't even get her sit still to talk to you guys next to her, but she is gonna be six this year and she's actually the same age as Miley, my other dog, and she's just a yellow lab. We got her from a rescue. She was actually a foster fail as well as Bama was, and we got her when she was only two years old, so we've had her now for almost four years. Miley is busy looking for lizards. If you guys, again, have been watching my channel for a while, you know Miley loves to lizard hunt. She hunts lizards, but literally never catches them. But this is what she does all day. She's an English cream golden retriever. She is also six, just like Lexi. They're about the same exact age. We've had her since she was just a puppy when she was eight weeks old. Last but not least of the dogs is Daisy. And like I said, a dog was our first animal that started the farm and that was Daisy. So Daisy is eight years old. She'll be nine next year, so she is a senior golden retriever and she's super sweet i've documented a lot of her journey on my channel she is actually epileptic and has a series of other health conditions but she's a super sweet dog and really loyal and she loves absolutely any animal and anybody she's always been like that ow lexi no matter her age she's always loved everything and everybody she's a really really sweet dog probably the nicest dog we've ever had so i'm back in the barn now it's time to show you all the horses so, wow, you're being awfully brave today, Louie, but we're gonna start off with Trigger because Trigger is the first horse that we ever got. Trigger is a 13-year-old Morgan. I've had him for almost five years now. Yeah, oh my gosh. I think it's maybe been five years or maybe more. Um, but anyways, he is the first horse that we ever got. He is what I would call my heart horse, and if you guys have been watching for a while, you will know that Trigger is quite the character and there's a lot of funny stuff and has a really huge personality. Now moving on right here to my left is Louie. Are you gonna be brave today for the camera? Yes, you are. He's being very brave today. Louie is the horse that we got from a kill pen out in Bastrop, Louisiana. We got him shipped all the way here to us in Florida. Yes, Stinky, we know we'll be over there soon. My goodness. But he's definitely in his 20s, but we've never really gotten a certain age on him. Different vets have told us different things based off of his teeth. But he is also a Morgan, and he is very, very shy, very scared of humans. We've had him also for about four to five years now, and he was the second horse that we got, and he's still even sometimes timid of us, most of the time, but he's a very shy, timid horse. Moving on to our newest horse. This is June, and I don't know if I said it, but the other two horses, Trigger and Louie, they are both males, and they are castrated males, so they are referred to as gelding, so you'll hear me use that again. That's what a gelding is. Now, she's a mare, so that's a female horse. She's our only mare, so it's been 
quite a difference and quite fun and she is a palomino quarter horse and she's pretty young she's only five years old she's not the youngest though in our barn but she is maybe about our tallest horse actually which is funny and she is now primarily the horse that mike rides he used to ride blaze mostly which you will meet in just a second but now he has taken over riding our mare Judy. now we have our actual youngest horse and this is cash we got him when he was only like uh, maybe nine months or so. And we actually knew who his mom was before Cash was even born. So this is obviously the mom's baby. <laughs> and he is a quarter horse, but technically we got him DNA tested and he had thoroughbred in him. So he's technically an appendix, but he's not papered. And he is the horse that I have been training to run barrels on him. But like I said, he's our youngest horse. So he just turned five last month. So he's still considered young and he's still just learning everything, but he's probably one of our most in your pocket horses. So what I mean by that is he's always in our business, very affectionate, always trying to figure out what we're doing and always causing trouble. He loves to break everything, break fences. And you know, as you can imagine what a horse would want to do that is of this size, but acts like a child. That is the epitome of cash, right? But he's a really good boy. He's really sweet. He's just is a troublemaker. Starting trouble already, as you can see, like I said, he's a troublemaker. But last but not least is Blaze. So he is actually just a year younger than Trigger. He's the third horse that we ever got. And we got him almost like a month or so after Louie because our second horse was supposed to be a horse for Mike and it just didn't work out that way with how Louie um, ended up when we got him here. So we got Blaze and he's been a great addition to our farm. We love Blaze. Anybody that is new at riding or anything like that rides Blaze. And he's just a super bomb proof horse, but he's a really good boy and he's pretty short. He's like a cracker quarter horse. But if you guys have been watching my channel for a while and any of our crazy antics, our stunts or anything that we have to do that's questionable, we typically do on Blaze because he's got such a good mind for it. I know one of these times I'm gonna get knocked out because Cash is gonna make Blaze's head come towards mine. <laughs> but like I was saying about June is that now Mike rides June, but this was Mike's horse. I mean, they're all of our horses, but it was his primary horse that he rode um, for the extent of us having horses. And fun fact, we actually got him a day before we had a pretty big hurricane and we had to put him out to pasture with a bunch of horses he hardly knew and he didn't even know us. So when we went to retrieve him after the hurricane, the water was like waist deep in this pasture and I had to go find him and tell him, hey, you're safe with me. So yeah, fun fact, just shows how bomb proof he really is. And he trusted us right away, but he's a really cool horse. Before we leave the barn, we need to talk about our two goats, Minnie and Willie. So we haven't had our goats for very long, but they are very fun. They are Nubian goats, they're brother and sister. So Minnie is the sister, she's the girl. And Willie is the male, he's a weather, so that means he is a castrated male. So no, they cannot breed. We don't want them to breed because like I said, they're brother and sister. Anyways, I don't know exactly how old they are. Maybe they're like one or two years old. I never really asked that question, but that'd probably be a good question to know. Willie had a different name. His name was Eeyore, but we changed it to Willie. Minnie's kept her same name, but they're really fun. We have a lot of fun with our goats. Willie was really shy when we got him, but he's come around big time and he is so sweet. He doesn't have his collar on right now, but He's a really good goat. So yeah. <laughs> but Minnie, she is super sweet. She's not as timid as Willie is. So she's a fun goat. They're very fun. We like our goats. So this is Dinky. Yes, she's a donkey. And yes, her name is Dinky, basically donkey, but with an I instead of an O. And that is not by pure coincidence. It is on purpose. When we actually got her, we named her Banks, but we kept, when we typed into the internet, um, the word donkey. I kept typoing dinky and that's how we got her name and we just loved calling her dinky I think that we should change donkeys to dinkies and all donkeys in my eyes are now called dinkies But it's a really funny story of how we got dinky and it's kind of weird But I have talked about it on my channel to the extent of it I was actually filming a video when I kind of knew that I was getting her because it was very spontaneous I didn't know that I was getting her until a couple hours before I was getting her and she arrived on a trailer with a bunch of other animals and she was actually supposed to be an older donkey that was bred which meant she was supposed to be pregnant and she was supposed to be super docile and when we got her she was pretty feral she was very afraid of us and she was about eight months old and she was definitely not bred so we got the complete opposite of what we were technically looking for she was actually born in Arkansas she's about to bite me so um, 
I don't believe we actually have donkeys by nature here in Florida, but by nature in Florida, we have a bad coyote and predator problem. So we need animals like this. <laughs> so they get basically captured in the wild um, out west and we got one from out west. And I will admit, she's probably one of my favorite animals on the farm just because her personality is so funny. She is such a character. Everything that she does is funny. Like just super weird personality but she's also really bossy and when dinky doesn't want to do something she's not going to do it and she's just funny and she's really funny to mess with mike always messes with her we always mess with her when we're out here she's just so funny and we actually got her because we needed a livestock guardian animal but let me tell you she is a very temperamental guardian animal because sometimes she lets some predators pass through and other times she hates the cats. It just depends what mood Dinky is in but right now she is really happy just bossing around our goats around this pasture because that's her new thing right now is she loves to boss around the goats and just herd them all around the pasture. So like I said we got her when she was about eight to nine months so she is probably pushing close to two years old now because we've had her for about a year. She's supposed to be a standard size but I think she's on the shorter side of standard. I wouldn't be surprised if her mom or dad was like like a mini and the other one was a standard because I don't think she's as tall as a standard but she's definitely not as small as a mini right dinky and she's just so fun she really is such a cool donkey she lets you do whatever like I can literally pick up her feet here dinky you're a good girl and she gets her hoofs trimmed by our farrier she's just a good little animal but speaking of her whole purpose of why we got her was that she was supposed to be our livestock guardian for our chickens so let's go ahead and show you the chickens if we can find some <laughs> This is one of my hens and she's a speckled Sussex. So we'll see if we can actually find all the hens. But in total, if we can't, I have 13 hens. We've seen one chicken. We're gonna see if we can find some more. Not many of my chickens actually have names. This one does though. Her name is Franny and she's super funny. And this is Franny's sister. We got these from the same person. So they are bonded together. You guys saw my speckled Sussex in the barn. I have a leg bar over there. I also have another leg bar. This is an Easter egger. So let's see if we can find any more of my collection. Now we have one walking back home for the night and this is a silver laced Wyandotte. And the last two that I can find right now are over there. This is my naked neck chicken. It's called a turkin. And then this one also, I have no idea what type of chicken this is, but she's pretty. I have an array of different types right now. I have leg horns. I don't really know what these are, but they are growing out. We should be moving them in the next day or two because they are getting bigger now. They can move up to a bigger crate. So here's my other set of chicks and they are a little bit smaller. So there's actually 10 in here and then I have six in the other one. Like I showed you, there's a couple silkies, a couple sapphires. I don't know what else is in here. So once my chicks are grown out, we will have a total of 29 hens. I haven't had that many hens in a while. We actually had about 40 chickens alone when we first moved into this property and we had a predator problem as you guys know that's why we have the donkey so now i am happily growing my flock out a bit again because we haven't lost any chickens in a really long time moving on to the cows i am right here with this huge giant that we named moose guys don't name your pet something that you don't want them to turn into we named him moose and he ended up turning into a giant moose he is so big he's like literally one of the biggest cows I've ever been around. He's a dairy cow. He's a Jersey mixed with an Angus, and Angus is actually a beef breed, but he definitely takes the characteristics of a dairy cow. He's about four now. He was one of the first animals that we actually got in our first property. We got him when he was only like maybe three or four months. We had to bottle feed him, had a couple scares with him, but here he is now four years later and he is giant. He really is a huge animal, but he's really nice. He can be dangerous though at times because obviously he has these huge horns and he's a giant animal and he sometimes thinks that he's a small puppy. I want to clarify actually that Moose is actually a steer. He's not technically a cow but he's part of the bovine species. Sometimes the verbiage can get a little bit confusing. So I try to keep it in simple terms and just call them cows. They're a bovine species, but in actuality, a cow is actually a female bovine that's given birth. So Jolene is not even a cow. She's technically a heifer because she is a female, but she's never given birth. But it's a lot easier in the verbiage to just call my cows cows because I'm not gonna say my steers and my heifer just because it's a very small little herd. So when I say cows, just know that I actually mean two steers and one heifer. I actually don't even own a cow technically, but they're all bovine. So anyways, <laughs> Jolene, um, she is my pure Jersey cow. She's a heifer, like I said, so my pure Jersey heifer. And we also got her as a baby. We actually got her even younger than when we got Moose. 
and we bottle fed her as well. She is such a sweet cow. I wish her horns were a little bit more symmetrical, but that's okay. So moving on to Albert, we're gonna just talk from a distance here. Albert is enjoying his time here laying down, so I'm not gonna distract him by going right next to him because he is pretty scared of people. But guys, check out those horns on this steer. Again, he's a steer, he's a castrated male. He is a mini zebu, so that's why he has that hump on his back. That's just what they're known for. Super cool cow. He's actually miniature, so he's older than moose and he's smaller than moose but he is technically a beef breed if i'm not mistaken so that's why he's built differently he's not as bony like moose and joe are but he's probably about five or six years old we got him when he was nine months old and he was teeny tiny well not teeny tiny but a lot smaller than this but his horns are so awesome but luckily for us he wants nothing to do with human interaction so he really never messes with us with them we'll see if we can get a little closer hi buddy let's see sometimes he can be a little bit more curious of what I have. There you go. Hi, little dude. Oh, he's like, don't touch me, human. <laughs> so now I want you guys to meet my cats, and by cats, I mean my barn cats. So all of my cats technically live outside. We do let our cats come inside, and we technically have seven cats. And by technically, it is because our seventh cat is Domino, but Domino doesn't really live here anymore. He lives at my neighbor's house. So if you guys have watched recently, we kind of have another cat that's coming around which is fluffy which i don't think fluffy's here today so we won't be able to see fluffy and we won't be able to see dominoes so like i said they're barn cats so hopefully we'll be able to see if they're all here today when i'm filming and also all of my barn cats have all been rescues through barn cat programs and then the three little kittens as well they were also rescues so stella won't let us touch her but she is eating right now so this is the best look that we're gonna get of stella so this is pete and we originally called her pizza but she has coined the nickname Pete, so we always call her Pete, and she is another one of the little kittens that we had gotten as a baby. Next up, we have Crazy, and I know all of my black cats are not really showing their identifying features of what's different about the black cats, because I know you guys are always confused how I know the difference, but between <laughs> Crazy and Pete, Pete is still more filled out. Crazy is very skinny, and then between Pete and Mishka, um, Mishka is more defined, and still, again, he's a lot bigger than Crazy, and also their disposition they're a lot different. So here is Mishka. So now we have all three of the different black cats so you can kind of see a difference. So that's crazy. This is Pete and this is Mishka. He's very, very pretty and his coat is like jet black. And so also in the daytime, that's the difference I can tell between them is he is jet black as you see him walking. But when the sun hits crazy, he has some like brownness to his coat. And we're just still catching all the cats while we can. Now we have Bagel and he is large and in charge. Bagel was a lot skinnier when we got him and he is a chunky, chunky cat. Just in time for our last one of the kitty sisters and that's Tiger Lily. Tiger Lily is literally so cute and we've actually nicknamed her Meat so we often call her Meat and I really like that you guys know a lot of my animals nicknames so that when I refer to them in videos you know what I'm talking about. But we call her Meat because she literally eats anything if we're ever eating anything or give her anything she will always eat it so it's just been kind of a funny nickname that we gave her <laughs> is me look at these two. Oh, someone talked badly about the other one meaty it's a really interesting name but we like all of our animals to have really funny names just because it always makes us laugh so that is the kitten trio we have meat pete aka pizza and of the three kittens the only one that ended up with a normal name which is stella but she's so elegant and it suits her well. And last but not least, my little piggy clan. I love pigs, you guys. If I could have any more animals on this farm, it would be pigs. The pigs are so cool and so fun. They all have really big personalities. He's just yelling. So we'll talk about Stewie. He's actually our second pig that we've gotten on the farm. And Stewie is the only pig that is actually not castrated. So he is technically a boar and that's why you can hear him grinding his tusks together. But he's so sweet, so we never got him altered. And pig surgery is actually pretty risky, so when we got him, he was at least maybe nine months to a year old, so we, so he was pretty old to have that surgery, so since he was nice enough, the vet just said he can stay unaltered. So like I said, we got him when he was about nine months to a year old, so he's about three years old now. Next up, in no particular order, technically he's our third pig, and this is Mr. Pig. <laughs> he is just a good old pot belly pig, and we got him from a couple hours away. He was an abandoned pig, 
and that's how we got him. I forgot to mention that Stewie actually was an auction pig just like these three little pigs. Um, I saw Stewie when he's a tiny little baby um, at an auction then I ended up getting him from a friend of mine but now my little breakfast trio who's quite literally making me a pig pen because they were covering me in mud. They are the funniest little um, breakfast pig trio. They have such huge personalities. They also came from the auction, like Stewie came from, same exact auction, and we talked about just getting maybe one pig that day, but they were all together in the same cage and I couldn't leave them there, so we needed all three pigs. They are all brothers. We have the two pink pigs, so this pink pig and this pink pig, who's literally getting me such a mess back here and then this little black pig and this little black pig actually was said that he had scoliosis but as you can see it's getting a lot better and he has the best coat ever but this is muffin <laughs> this is pancake and this is waffle they're all so nice though they've come around a lot since when we got them at the auction and guys i want more pigs so badly i love the pigs pigs are so cool and they just like are so simple they don't care what they have they're just really happy with the simple things in life and I think that's really awesome so let's move on to the last pig so the last piggy in question which I don't even know if we should call her a pig because I don't think she thinks she's a pig and I don't think she thinks she's a dog but she acts like a dog but looks like a pig so it's really interesting what she is this is Penelope <laughs> Penelope is four years old and she is an inside pig so that's why she does not live out with the other pigs and I know I get this question a lot I actually have a whole dedicated video of why she's an inside pig but to keep it short is because she was born and raised inside unlike the other pigs that's just what she's accustomed to she likes the AC she does like to be outside and do what pigs do but she is very particular about wanting to go inside when it's time for her to go inside. If Penelope ever wants to be outside one day, like full time, I will definitely let her. But as of right now, she always pretty much can come outside to the backyard and she roots up just like a normal pig. But then she will come to the sliding glass door and she will demand her way inside. She loves to be inside. She likes the AC. I think it's just what she's used to. She's literally from the day she was born was an inside pig and I got her when she was about nine weeks old. So that's what happened. And if you guys don't know, it's really normal for pigs to be inside. Like a lot of people have pet pigs and it works out just fine. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is all of my pets, all of my 40 something pets in one video. If you guys know the exact number, put in the comments down below. Like I said, check out the description. There's probably gonna be a really helpful hint. But you guys, I'm so glad that you guys have to come all around my farm and go through all of my animals with me. At what point did you guys start watching my channel? What animals are new to you? Let me know as well in the comments down below. But if you guys like today's video, make sure you go and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, I have a chance to my post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to. All right, you guys, I love you and I'll see you in the next one.